Hey guys, this is Yamari here, Sound of Freedom. I've been away for a while. I had to come back to the States and handle some property issues. Making my rounds, tying up all loose ends, getting ready to head back to the motherland. But I want to talk today since um, all of the things happened at the Oscars. Um, I've been a big Will Smith fan for a long time. And over the years, I've um, not really followed, followed a lot of what's been going on, especially with August and all of these other different things, the letter with t to Tupac and all these other crazy things. But from a lot of interviews with both Jada and Will and listen to some of the things that they talked about with these reporters. I'm going to say this. I grew up a around a lot of people and over the years I've seen couples to where it is um, one didn't want to get married whether it was the man or the woman but was felt like they was forced into a marriage and went on with it knowing one knowing that they didn't love the other person that their heart their soul their spirit was with someone else but still into it because of pregnancy or uh in a business together or what have you i'm gonna tell you you can have just from what i've seen you can have all the money in the world you can have all the businesses, all the fame. I'm telling you something. When you found love or found somebody that made you feel so special, so loved and so safe, and that person, all of a sudden something happens to where this person is gone out of your life, you wasn't ready for them to leave. You don't think you would ever be ready for them to leave out of your life. And someone steps into your life and, and you know, you know off the bat, you ain't ready to be with somebody. And you get into a relationship with them simply off the back that you miss this other person. So you don't love this person. You just love the idea of, of, of that somebody is interested in you or uh, you just want to feel needed or or what have you that's never going to work that's always going to be a disaster because your heart is with someone else you trying to fill a void that you know this person could never feel then this person feels guilty because he see that he he or she see that they can't feel this void they see that they will never measure up to what this person showed this other person. But they still stay thinking that because they got all this money and they were able to provide mansions and trips and furs and diamonds and all this. And, and, and the bigger and bigger you get, you feel like you and this person should be okay. Hey, look, <laughs> you in this by yourself. That person is not okay with you because it's not you that they want. It's not you that can feel that void. It's not you that can make them feel the way that other person made them feel. You're in it by yourself. I say this, get out while you have your sanity or what's left of your sanity. Get out, move on, make yourself happy. This person... Every time they think about that other person that made them feel so special, that made them elevate to the highest of high. Every time they think about how they can't have that person, they're going to take it out on you. Stop allowing these people to humiliate you. Bring you down to the lowest of low. And then all of a sudden, you feel like you got to do something special. You got to step your game up a little higher than what it is. Still trying to make this person. You are never. You are never going to reach the level of that other person. Get out. 
Get out while you still have your sanity. Get out of it. There's millions of people that would be happy to make you feel as good as this person trying to feel. This person constantly finding other people to make them feel good. Over you and you married to them. Get out. Get out while you still have time. Get out before you destroy yourself. Destroy your career completely. Get out. Get out.